I can't believe this is how I'm starting my first 2024 vlog. Europe trip, Coachella, stage coach. Good morning! Hi guys, happy new year. I hope you all had a fun and safe new year's. I can't believe this is how I'm starting my first 2024 vlog. This is definitely not how I expected it, but I actually got my phone stolen, my phone and ID stolen. Went to just New Year's Eve of a three day festival called Fresh Start at the Midway in San Francisco. And we were having such a good time. We were going from Lucidity, I think that's the name of the artist. I'll put it here if I'm wrong. I was in like the indoor warehouse and we were walking outside to see Lewis the Child um, who's performing outdoors for the New Year's Eve set. And um, as we walked outside, there was like a huge mob of people, very crowded. And I was holding on to my sister, holding on to Tim and totally forgot that my phone was in my pocket and my ID was in the back of it. And once we got to Lewis the Child around 11.30, I suddenly realized I didn't have my phone. It was such a buzzkill and just shame on me for not being more careful. This is my first time losing my phone and it's just like such a weird and eerie feeling knowing that somebody else has all this information about you and access. You guys have had your phone stolen before. I'm sure you know the feeling, but let me know any tips you guys have. I marked my phone as lost and erased my phone, but if there's anything else I should be doing, definitely let me know. Hope you've been having a better 2024 than I have, but I'm trying to leave it all in the past. That was 2023. Trying to just like look at the positive side. They left onto Pennsylvania Avenue. Signs for 25th Street, Cesar Chavez. Now we're on our way to where my phone, like the initial pin location, is that how you even call it? A few blocks away from the midway and this was the location that I had um, when I was like erasing my phone. So I think it was like the corner of Indiana and Cesar Chavez. So we're just gonna go back. I doubt my phone is there because actually Today, when I checked, my phone yesterday pinged a new location around 3 p.m. It was like by Bakersfield already. So I doubt my phone is here, but maybe they threw out my ID because they don't need it, hopefully. Hi. An ID. Thank you. No? Okay. okay. No Thank worries. you. Thanks. We didn't find anything, which I guess I kind of expected, but I kind of was just holding on to that like sliver of hope that um, obviously my phone probably isn't there because the last location that it pinged was by Bakersfield, but I was kind of hoping that my ID would be there just I don't know, maybe they tossed it or something, but we didn't find anything. Um, we asked around some of the local businesses and they didn't see anything either. So yeah, just, I guess, waiting for my phone to come in today. Once it does, then I can go to Apple, do the upgrade. I can then have my phone number back and phone working so that I can um, do everything that I need to do for an ID. So just waiting for the phone now. Ah. It's a brand new day, it's sunny, it's gonna be a good day. I just got my phone in yesterday afternoon, my replacement phone, and I'm gonna take it to the Apple store today to do an upgrade. I've been wanting to switch on to the 15 and also just switch on to the Apple upgrade program. So I'm just gonna seize this opportunity to do that. I have a few things I wanna trade in too. So off to the Apple store, but before we go, gotta get coffee. Thank you. You too.
everything is sorted out. It's all functioning. I was able to restore it exactly to how it was. I was able to bring in my photos that I took from yesterday and all my messages. So everything is like up to date and synced, which thank God for the guy at um, Apple, Jason. He was so patient with me. I was there for probably like three hours with him and he was like late to his lunch break because of me and then i probably spent another hour or so just waiting for everything to back up so now i have the iphone 15 pro max now i have a working phone so that's solved i'm so behind on content so i need to catch up and i need to figure out my id situation just really grateful that over the past few days i've had so many of you just send me messages and tips and I really appreciate that sort of support and as always know that I'm here for you guys too. Happy Sunday. We are off to our first Barry's class of the year. Am I kind of terrified? Yes. Are we going to kill it? Yes. I just downed my espresso shot because I needed that. And here's to the first of many berries and many workouts this year. Back on my Apple Watch game, so let's see how many calories I burn. Not yet, all right? 12 minutes completely, but I wrote the way we're three minute missions, four three minute missions. If you're on the it's Sunday night, 8 p.m. I am all dolled up because this is JP Morgan week, which is one of the most important weeks in healthcare finance. So Tim, as you guys know, he's a banker. All these CEOs, bankers, investors, they all fly into San Francisco for the JP Morgan conference. And the reason it's called JP Morgan conference is because JP Morgan's healthcare division is huge. So that's why it's called their conference. But all these other banks kind of tack on all these meetings this week since everyone's in town. Friday night, we had a little kickoff thing. And right now I am headed out to the Donatello, which I've never been to somewhere in Union Square, I think, um, where a bunch of people are there networking plus ones are starting to show up. So I'm excited to take you guys along for JP Morgan to see kind of the hustle and bustle of San Francisco. This week is going to be wild. Tim called me earlier and he was like, it's crazy right now. So let's go. Just got out. That was intense. There were so many people I couldn't even film. And now we're at STK. Change of plans. Going to Ozumo. When we go. Okay. It is Wednesday, 8 p.m. I'm about to head out to actually Tim's event for the JP Morgan conference. This is the last event I'm going to, so I'm excited. I am so tired. I don't even know how they do it because just being a plus one, it's already exhausting. So I can't even imagine if my whole day was filled with like back to back to back to back meetings. I'm gonna just touch up my hair a little bit more. I did my hair and makeup earlier because I actually went to the DMV to get an updated license photo. Good morning. I am finally feeling normal myself again, two weeks after coming back from Asia. Um, I've had the craziest past few weeks, as you guys can tell. I think I was so exhausted from Asia and then all the jet lag and then all the shit that happened with my phone and ID and then JP Morgan week. It's just... It's been a lot. I feel like I've kind of hibernated the past few days and now I am feeling oh, me again. So I wanted to take the time to hop on here and share my New Year's resolutions with you guys in case you guys are still thinking about your resolutions, want to add to them. I feel like mine are really personal, but also kind of random. So they could be things that you may be able to consider too. I'm just gonna quickly finish up my makeup. I am probably just staying in most of today, so no need to go crazy, but I just wanted to put on a little bit because it's the first day I feel normal and this will definitely help me continue feeling normal. I'm trying to plan out all the videos I want to do for you guys this year. So let me know what videos you guys are excited about, you guys want to see, because that's the content I want to create for you guys. We can't forget, this is my favorite, favorite lip balm. I've showed it in so many vlogs already. This, in this color specifically, chef's kiss. So good with makeup, without makeup. 
just very fresh. Cheers. Okay, now that I drank my HE1, I can have my coffee and mm. now we can talk about my New Year's resolutions. Have my laptop right here. I noted everything down that I want to accomplish this year and let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is, and I haven't done this yet, but wake up at 6 a.m and have a slow morning so I can use the morning to strategize and just like enjoy, like not always be rushed. That's kind of the theme of 2024. You'll see in my other resolutions. Second resolution is to always show up to things five to 10 minutes early. I am always exactly on time or a few minutes late. And that's just not great. And I'm so grateful because my friends have so much grace for me and they're like, you know, it's not a big deal. But there are people who really do care and I would never want someone to feel like I don't prioritize my hangout with them. I don't prioritize them because I'm late. Third is to be more cautious and mindful of my spending. Towards the end of 2023, especially with the whole Hermes journey, I was getting a little crazy. And you know, there's still like other things that I would buy from Zara. And you know what? This is the year where I am gonna be very thoughtful of how I spent. I'm gonna continue shopping at Hermes because I'm obsessed with the brand. And throughout the year, all the little things like the Amazon purchases, the Sephora purchases, Ulta, no. No shopping, no nothing. Number four, I wanna track my expenses daily. What I've done in 2022, and this is like the big project that has been looming over my head, is I need to go through and track all my expenses because I did not do that on a daily or weekly or monthly basis. We're like all the way done with 2022 and I have hella receipts and expenses that I need to dig through. So this is the year I am better about that and I just do them daily. When I incur an expense, I track it. That's what it's gonna be. Five, have more fun with my content and don't take it so seriously. There's always this thought in the back of my mind that's like, oh, for my content, it has to be like this. It has to look this way. And I feel like I always, put this like mold onto myself around how my video should look. I think sometimes the stress of it all, for example, putting together like the perfect Instagram photo dump, it takes so much of my energy to think about like how the photos should be, which photos to use. And I don't know, I just really overthink, especially on Instagram. It just takes away from being able to post immediately. But what I need to do is just in the moment, the photos that I like, put it all together, post. Do you guys like that? To number six, be more patient and calm. If you know me in real life, you'll know I am always rushed place to place to place. I feel like my whole life is just being rushed and it really stresses me out. And in a lot of these moments, I find myself not being the best version of myself. I wanna be that girl who is very in the moment, present, calm but I end up being the person who's like kind of frantic and I don't like that about myself, especially as we start thinking about kids. The mom that I wanna be is very patient, which I think my mom was definitely that and I really aspire to be that. My last resolution is to practice gratitude. I feel like that was something I really did like 2020, 2021 and I guess it kind of fell off 2022, 2023. I'm not really sure why I stopped practicing and being super intentional with my gratitude practice, but it just kind of fell off. And I do think it is really important to just like take time and reflect and feel grateful. I think it just makes you a much more empathetic, level-headed, well-rounded, good person. It goes back to my first resolution of waking up earlier and having the time to think. I feel like this year, I really just want to take my time and become a better version of me and create some of these habits and practices where I can, you know, take these forward in the years to come. Ooh, a little more. This is one of my favorite things. Hot and sour soup in general. 
look at all the food we just ordered from Dumpling Home. Can you tell we're so hungry? It's super gloomy and gross outside today, so it's the perfect little cozy day in. Do all our chores, cleaning, laundry, and obviously ordering in. Let me turn this off. Okay, so yesterday we finished binging Singles Inferno, which was so good, so happy. If you guys watched already, spoiler alert, so happy Guan He picked Hesan. That was the right move. I'm so glad he had it in him to like come up with that decision. It was the right decision. And then today we binged Slow Horses, right, babe? That's what it's called slow horses so today we binge slow horses and it was really good i'm usually not into like spy action bloody shows but tim's watched the past two seasons and he liked it and i was like okay let me give it a try and it was really good was so good for binging because at the end of every single episode it was a cliffhanger and you're just like must watch the next episode so we binged that and then i did a little bit of work trying to get a youtube video up tomorrow morning and then i just made some dinner we are having pasta tonight, such an easy meal. I had ground chicken already, threw in the leftover mushrooms, kale, and then boiled my pasta in a separate pot, threw it in, and that's it. This is one of Tim's favorite meals. Here you go. Thank you. Wow. Is it actually good? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah? Yeah, I like the kale. Yeah? yeah. It's a good addition. Uh -huh. It looks good. I added some red pepper flakes and black pepper. And I used the Rouse tomato and basil pasta sauce. So that's a little cheat that makes this whole thing so much faster and easier. Mmm. That's really good. Hi. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> we both did our separate workouts. She did berries. I just did a run in 12 3 30 and now we are at one of our favorite favorite SF restaurants, Hog Island. It's at the Ferry Building and it's so good. There was literally a point in time when I would come like once a week. That's how much I was obsessed with it. The latte has a nice creaminess, but I think the coffee bean that they use, it's just not as Flavorful. deep. Yeah. Coffee tastes a little too acidic for me too, but worth trying. Yeah, it's a good vibe in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're watching the finale, like final, final little bit of Fool Me Once, and it is so good. It's got me like, I have goosebumps. It's just, it's insane. It's so good. Okay, last bit.
Okay, we have had a weekend of just binging shows. See, you guys told me to watch Fool Me One. So when we finished Slow Horses, I was like, what else should we watch? And everyone was saying the brother's son, Fool Me One. So we started with Fool Me One. Thriller. I don't, yeah, thriller. I don't even want to get into the entire like synopsis, but it like kept me on edge literally the entire time. My palms are all sweaty. I was like freaking out. Tim was like covering his face. <laughs> it's not like gory or like bloody. It's just like eerie and creepy. Exciting. But, yeah, it was good. Okay, good night. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So I wanted to hop on here and round out this vlog with a little 2024 luxury wish list. I feel like I've been seeing so many people post that on YouTube. And I thought, especially with my entire Hermes journey and sharing some of my designer bags that I've acquired over the past years or so, I thought this could be like a little fun thing to round out this vlog before I start the next. Tim's birthday is coming up and I'm starting to plan all of it. So I want to document that in a separate vlog. So I thought I'd close out this one. So let's get into the little luxury wish. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I really do not want to be buying from any other brands except Hermes. So the things I am hoping for this year that honestly I've pinned on my Pinterest for the longest time already are a mini Kelly. That's a given. Whether that's from the SF store or maybe we'll go to Paris this year, I want to get a mini Kelly. I love gold hardware. I'm okay with palladium, I think, but definitely prefer gold and any neutral. I also really like the Kelly 25. So that's the next size up from uh, the mini Kelly, I think. So I saw a girl in Taiwan wearing it and it looks so good on her. My only issue with a Kelly 25 is I probably can't crossbody it because I'm so tall but it looks so cute on the shoulder or just handheld. And then I got a Birkin 30 last year. So this year I really want a Birkin 25. I think the 30 is a great everyday bag, like I said in my Birkin unboxing and review, but it's just not a bag that I can bring to like weddings, events. So I'd love some more of those types of bags. Size Hermes, there's definitely other brands that have bags that catch my attention. Last year, I was so obsessed, like so close to getting the Chanel Kelly bag. I thought that was so cute because same thing, you can cross body, you can hold it as a little top handle just very versatile, which I love. And I feel like Bottega has been all the rage. So all the Bottega bags, the one that Kylie Jenner was seen wearing. So it looks like this. Again, crossbody and top handle. I feel like that's been like the perfect combo. A few other things on my wish list that are not material goods are a Europe trip. I've never been to Europe, so I really, really want to go. This is the year. It has to happen now. Otherwise, we're probably going to have kids soon. And it's just a lot harder to travel with kids. So we're trying to think about all the things that we want to do pre-kids so we can get that done maybe this year. So Europe trip, we're going to do Coachella, maybe Stagecoach. And then I'd love to go back to Taiwan end of this year again. And then when we go to Taiwan, maybe also tack on like Japan or Korea. And then we'd love to go back to the Nobu Cabo for a little anniversary trip. But yeah, that's kind of what the year looks like. I'm so excited. I can't wait to continue sharing everything with you guys. Thank you so much for all your support in 2023. And I can't wait to see what the year has in store for us in 2024. So if you aren't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in my next vlog.